Dear students, in this unit, we will talk about the symbiotic role of these protests in different ecological communities. As you are aware that protests, they are found in diverse aquatic environments. Now, they play a role of symbionts or they play a role of producers. As a producers, they are the main source of photosynthesis in the aquatic environments. As a result, they produce oxygen as well as they are the main source of food. And some protists, they are, they live as symbionts, means they benefit their host. In the examples, some dinoflagellates, they nourish coral polyps that build coral reefs. While some wood digesting protists, they digest cellulose as they live in the guts of different termites. In the aquatic environment, as you can see in this chart, that these protestin producers, they are important source of food chain for different organisms which are present in aquatic ecosystems. These protist species, some of them, they are the direct component of food chain and they are the main generators of the biomass in the aquatic environment, while some of the protists, they are the essential source of nutrition for many other organisms. Even in some cases, just like in uh, plankton, protists are consumed directly. Virtually, all of the aquatic organisms, they depend directly or indirectly on protists for their food. Protists are an important part of the food chain, especially in the aquatic environments, especially the sea-dwelling organisms, they directly depend on the protists. Even certain anaerobic parabasalid protists, they exist in the digestive system of termites and certain cockroaches and help them in the digestion of cellulose, which is served as a food source for those organisms.